Uh, Gary, Chesterfield have got a chance to create a bit of history on Saturday. They've never started a season 10 games unbeaten. So there's an opportunity there this weekend. How nice would that be to secure it? Yeah, lovely. Um, we wasn't too aware of it till after the game on Saturday at Yeovil. Um, and it's been spoke about a little bit little bit this week and it'd be nice be nice to um to create that history but listen um it's none of our not the not the forefront of our minds it, we just stick to what we're doing um if we get that record then brilliant because that means we've we've played well and we've won the game so um yeah it'd be nice it just add it just add to what's been a positive start for the club yeah, is that something that you'd probably reflect on on the journey home rather than uh, you know preparing for the game a couple of days before? Oh, 100 percent. Listen, it possibly will be mentioned in it in beforehand, but um, it, it'll be strictly um, tactics, the way we work, the way we want to play, and um, get back to to where we was. It, it was a busy week last week. Um, does it help that you've had a full sort of free week to prepare for this one? Uh, most definitely, yeah. Um, last week was tough. Tuesday without making any excuses because Jovo played all right in the game. Fair play to them, but w- without making too many excuses, we um, it was probably the first time we looked a little bit jaded and leggy, and it's totally understandable. With Tuesday night was mentally and physically a tough tough night for us at South End. Took a lot out of our boys. Um, Went down there, seven hour trip or whatever it was, and it took a lot and it showed. We, we didn't really have that spark in our play with and without the ball. Um, even though watching the game back, Yeovil didn't create, they didn't pull us apart, we didn't look all over the place, but as our standards have been set so high, we, we, we weren't at it, as you say in, in football terms, we weren't at it as we have been, but totally understandable and our lads have done absolutely brilliant so as I say we we got the energy back in the legs and we're good to go again Yeah is that what this week has been about just trying to rest and recuperate and then sort of build up to the game towards the end of this week and these next couple of days Exactly that Liam exactly that um, What are we in with nine games in now um, they haven't put a foot wrong our boys so um, you, you can't be down too hard to the ball taking a point at Yeovil, which might be a good point. But um, we knew we we knew the reasons behind it, which is good. If you know you've got a problem and you know the reason behind the problem, you can work on it and you can you can try and solve the problem. And we feel what we knew where we went wrong on Saturday, and we'll put that right. It's a three G pitch down at Mace, and is that something that you'll have to prepare for as well? Yeah, listen, there's a couple of games in this division like that. Don't particularly like it personally, but um, most of the younger lads now coming through, they're brought up on, on 3Gs and 4Gs and whatever they are. Me as a player, I, didn't, I wouldn't even go on them to train. I didn't like them, never liked them. So everyone's used to it. Lads have played at this level for a bit, some of them. Other lads who are younger who we've brought in, I've trained on as, as young youth players in the club. So no, listen, no surprises. We know we know what's coming. We know we know the surface. We went to Dork and we done okay on it. Um, probably pretty similar. Be a good atmosphere there. It looks a um, good proper non-league stadium. Um, but we know what to expect. But will you try and train on a similar surface this week, or do you think that the players are so used to it now it's not necessary? No, they're used to it. No, we're, we're used to. It. We know the surface. Um, so no, we'll train as normal. Um, we've got the option if we wanted to, but we um, we feel like we know what's coming with the AstroTurfs and 4G, so um, we'll prepare as well as we can. Um, as I say, early on in the week, we, we need to get lads back with the energy levels. To, to play the way we want to play, we need to be high energy. And um, our energy levels on Saturday were a little bit low, lower than normal, and um, we've done our best to get them back up. And we're expecting really good, two good training days now. And at Maidstone, of course, a newly promoted side. What are you expecting from them? Um, really, really hard-working team. 
um, they have a way of playing. Um, they look to stick to it. They've conceded a couple of goals. Um, but I've watched the last couple of games I've watched, I, apart from the Bromley one, they've done quite well. They played well at Sorkey. They played well against Wealdston, got a good, a good result. Wealdston are a good team. Um, they've got threats, as every team in this division is. But we, as you see on Saturday, we've got to concentrate fully on ourselves. We, we'll prepare our lads with threats and what they bring and the style they play. But you see, if, if we're not at our, our levels that we've set, then the result can go either way. So we've got to make sure that we're at the standards we've set. We've got to be uh, on our metal. And if we are, we fancy ourselves to get a positive result. Um, what's the latest with Asante and Dobra? Um, same. Same, we're just waiting today. Um, they've been about the training place, so they've been on the training ground and hopefully have one or two of them, one or two, hopefully back. Um, but we'd have to see till the end of today. We um, Today's an important day for us, preparation day for us, and we'll go through the numbers. There's a couple of knocks and niggles in from Yeovil. Tough game, tough, tough week, really tough week. Um, so... We evaluate now, go Thursday, we go training now and um, we, we see what we've got and if we've got two of them back, brilliant. If we've got one, brilliant as well, because the, the two terrific players. And if we haven't got none, we, we've still got that same group who, who were unbeaten. Calvin Miller, Jack Clark, who I keep going back to, come in, done great. So um, we work it out today, see what we've got uh, and we'll go again. And does the 3G pitch come into your thinking when players are coming back from injury, whether it's worth taking the risk? I know some players, when they've got an injury, perhaps it, it's not quite suitable for them. Um, they probably depend on the injury. Muscle injuries are different. It doesn't matter really what surface you're on, as much as if, if you've done your ankle and it's a totally different surface then. So probably the different injury would, would be looked at different for the surface. But... Um, yeah, it will be, but it'll be assessed. It has been spoke about. I won't, I won't lie, it has been spoke about, but um, we'll be okay. We, we should be okay this week. And have you got any other fresh injury concerns for this one? No, a couple of, couple of, couple of knocks and bruises, but there's no no real injuries. Um, it was a physically tough, tough demand on week. Um, and coming from South End, there's all the travelling. They needed rest more than anything, our lads. Um, but we get back on our habits. We know as much as we we, we weren't at the, the levels we set, the lads knew that straight away after the game. Uh, we knew that. And if we can go another nine games before we, we drop off the standards that for once, um, you'd be more than happy because they've been absolutely brilliant, our lads. Um, take nothing away. To go to Yeovil and still, still get a point when you're not at your best, I think it's a testament to the character of the lads. They don't know when they beat. Still coming back, still scoring two goals away from home again. So, listen, as much as we, we didn't perform as good as we can, great credit goes to the lads again.